you know, I cut up the pieces while I was frustrated. So here's the kit ready to go now. But this is the card we're making, but we're going to be making it in boho blue and copper clay. Um, if my video cooperates, if it doesn't, uh oh, telling, okay, this is what it said last time. Uh, I don't know what this means. I'm really trying to learn about my tech, you guys, but it's slow going. It is slow going. I don't know how to do this, so. I don't know. Hopefully. Hopefully you guys could see me and it's live. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I know, but I don't know what to do about it. Hopefully it doesn't shut off. If it does, then I'm going to be a little bit frustrated, but it's okay. It's what happens. Okay. So I decided to go ahead and use the twine instead of the ribbon um, because I don't have copper clay ribbon. And also this is in the end color club. This month, if you purchase the bundle, you get this twine for free. Comes with all five of the colors. <laughs> so let me, I'm going to start over. Hopefully it works. Um, I'm going to show you some DSP that is in the club. Oh, I wanted to tell you that the DSP is on sale this month. Um, so it's this one. This is the one we're using today. We're just using a piece from the bottom, but this whole paper is like blue up here. So it's really cool for like a scrapbook page or something. I love that. This paper is, um, I didn't show you the back of this one either. Copper clay on the back. This paper, oh, this Freshest of Daisy Sweet paper has every ink color in it. So it's got the Pebbled Path, the Wild Wheat, the Boho Blue, the Copper Clay, and the Moody Mauve. It has every single one of them, you guys. Look, this is my favorite so far. So I had I already used a ton of it. This one, pretty cute. It has the, definitely has the wild wheat in there with pebble path on the back. This one has copper clay. I love this one. We're going to be using this one, obviously, in our club also. This one has the copper clay with the moody mauve. I love how they all coordinate. I wasn't really digging these colors before, um, the end colors, but... You know, you got to have them because they're in the papers and stuff. Look at this piece of DSP, though. It has blocks that you can cut out. So this is what I used. This one right here for this card that I made. Um, I just cut this piece out right here. Popped it on some cardstock. Cut a little sentiment out. Bada bing, bada boom. So these are really cool. And then, oh, I already showed you this one, so... This is the full piece. What's on the back of this? Mooning more. Okay. So those are the pieces of paper. This is the stamp set. If you buy the bundle, it's this stamp set and then the cutters, which these cutters are pretty cute. They have a full piece like this, which I've used quite a few times now. Um, and then they, of course, cut out each of the each of the ones that you, each of these, and this one too, I think, and this one. Wow. Okay. That's cute. It has this framelit, frame, stitched frame for sentiments. It has some leaves. Um, it's a really all, o all over really good one. It has this branchy thing, which are always convenient to you. So anyway, I need to get some, uh, some of these on magnets. Do you guys, how do you store your dies, you guys? Do you put them on magnets and then put them back in the in the packages? Or do you put them, in, I've seen people put a magnet right here and then put their dies that go with it. I think that's so convenient. I just, I need a helper to come and help me organize and do my stuff. Any takers? <laughs> All right, so uh, we're going to, of course, use these in colors, which was the free gift last month. Um, these in color gems, in color dots, excuse me. And we're going to use those. So let's get started. I'm going to use this copper clay ink. So 
and set our where's my pad? I don't know where my pad is, so we're gonna use this pad to stamp on. All right. Uh, I already cut out this from the stitched stylus shapes. Comes I love this because see, could you see the little stitching on there? I don't know. It's so cute though. And I'm going to stamp this once, but I'm going to stamp this off so it's not so dark. And then I'm going to stamp the sentiment on top. So did I tell you this card that I'm casing exactly, except different colors, is from Lynn Feldkamp. I got it in a swap. Um, part of the perks of being a demonstrator. Or actually, if you guys want to do swaps with me, I would love to do swaps. So I stamped that off once on my grid paper over here. And I'm going to stamp it right here in the middle. So it's just barely there. Can you guys even see it? It's just barely there. I feel like this is very, very bright. I'm going to push this over here. So anyway, uh, it's just barely there. But then we're going to stamp the sentiment over it in the same color. Copper clay. My copper clay. Okay. So my copper clay I haven't used a lot yet. I'm going to take a card and I'm going to kind of squish some of my ink down a little bit so it's not so juicy. Sometimes when we first get this things from Stampin' Up, the ink pads, they're very juicy. This is how I do. I just kind of push the ink back into the pad so it's not so juicy. That's what I do. So some people use spoons because they don't want to tear their pads. I'm very gentle about it. So I don't, I'm not afraid I'm going to Tear my pad. There we go. Your friendship means everything. I really like this saying too. Your friendship means everything. So what do you think? Looks nice. So when you push the ink back down into the pad, it doesn't get all over. So see how it kind of squashed all over my, I didn't want that all over my project. So I had to kind of squash it down a little bit. The thing about our stamp pads, the cool thing, at least I feel like it's a cool thing, is that they do store upside down. So see, when you close them, the ink pad is on on the top, and it all the ink, you know, gravity takes all the ink down. So you store them like this, um, regular size up, regular side up. But sometimes they're just so juicy. Even when I re-ink my pads, sometimes they're just so juicy. I get a little crazy with my ink. My ink's putting it all over the place. Maybe I should show you guys how to re-ink pads in case you don't know. Anyway, I'm just using my Stampin' Snail. I'm gonna call it Snail, but it's not Snail anymore. And put this right in the middle, like, like so. And then I'm going to Take these pieces and just pretty much layer them all in oh we need something on the inside let's go ahead and stamp that too while we got this out and i think i'll go ahead and stamp that same flower on the inside just in full strength right here in the corner there we go look it needs something in the middle doesn't it it does the stamps it does have like a little middle piece so let's put it in there Maybe we could use, oh, no, we can't because I don't have that color. <laughs> this is it. Maybe we could use wild wheat in there. No, we can't. Oh, wait. Look, I brought this wild wheat in the frame. I do have it, but you guys aren't going to have it, so I'm not going to use it. Because... Perfect. There we go. All right. It just finishes it off, so it gives it a little something. Am I even in the camera? I don't know. Anyway, okay. So let's take our card. Fold it in half. This is the copper clay. I'm going to finish the edge with my thingamabobber, my bone folder. And then you guys know that I just, this is how I normally talk in real life. Thingy, etc. But I guess on a live, I need to tell you guys what I'm using. Um, in case if you need that tool, 
I'm going to put this away before I stick my hand in it because we all know me. I will do that. All right. And then I'm going to, I'm not going to stick this on yet because I want to wrap the twine around it. So I'm going to layer all these pieces, layer, 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 layer. I love these daisy, this daisy is sweet. I really do. It's definitely, I didn't like it at first because, you know, I didn't like the end colors, but now I'm digging the end colors. And so this one is one of my favorites because it has all the end colors. It's okay not to like some of the colors the Stampin' Up! comes out with, but then they come out with the DSP that coordinates and then you're like, I have to have that. So I'm going to tie a bow. She did not, but I am going to, and I'm going to wrap this around two times because I like that. Make it a little thicker. Wrapping it around two times. Get somebody to hold a little bow right here for you. Your cat, your dog. Just kidding. All right. And then... This twine is thicker than my favorite, favorite twine, which is linen thread. I'm going to make this a little smaller. I don't know what size I used on this, but I'll post it in the video description later. Actually, I'm not going to do that because this is for In Color Club. So let me just tell you right now, I'm not going to do that. There, so cute. And then we have this. Your friendship means everything to me. And I'm gonna pop this up with dimensionals. And then I'm going to pop this up with dimensionals too. All right, so we're, I wanna put them on the top and the bottom. It's almost the last day of school over here for my son. My daughter already had her last day of school, but we have a teacher meeting to turn in our books and stuff. Okay, does that look like it's kind of in the middle? Let's say yes. Let's say yes. All right. So, oh, okay. This is what I wanted to tell you guys before I finish up here. The DSP is on sale. I already told you guys that part, but it is on sale for um, the whole month of June. However, today is In Color Club. Uh, final signups is today. So if you want to join the In Color Club and you want to add on your DSP to that same order of your, of your In Color Club, then you can have free shipping on your DSP. Just add it to your order of your um, so cute. So I think personally, like this is so plain to me. I might have embossed it or something, but I was copying the other lady. So, and I love these two colors together, this blue and this brown. Okay, anyway, what I was saying was if you want, which one do you guys like better? This is the one we're making for In Color Club, but I think I like the pink one. <laughs> oh. Um, oh, I forgot to put the gems. Look, look, look. I like it so much better if I put the gems probably. Um, what was I saying? The In Color, oh, the DSP. Okay, you can get your DSP shipping for free if you put it in an order with your Oops. With your, uh, I'll get it out. Hold on, guys. So cute. Club order. <laughs> I can't do two things at once. <laughs> okay. The club order is um, the copper clay you will get for $30. The ink, the blenders. And the re-anchor, sheesh, sheesh, plus your kit, plus a gift. I have the gift already planned out, but I have not made a sample. But as soon as I do, I will send that, uh, 
send that to you guys so you can see. I'll post it on, but today's the last day, so it's probably not going to happen today. I have to take my daughter to the doctor now. Um, her ears are still messed up, you guys. And also, the DSP sale is all month, so our DSPs are gorgeous, you guys, gorgeous this year. Let me see if I could show you. I should have printed out a thing, but my printer's not working either. Uh-oh. Nothing's working for me. So, okay. Let's see. Somebody was calling. I think it was the teacher, actually. Shoot. Okay. Uh, Bright and Beautiful's on sale. It's six by sixes. The Country Inn DSP we used last month. This delightfully eclectic 12 by 12 it is a whole 48 sheets um it's on sale it's normally 35 bucks i mean 30 dollars. excuse me it's on sale i'm gonna be getting that one that one is so fun this earthen elegance is on sale the fresh of a daisy fresh as a daisy glorious gingham it's six by sixes this inked botanicals and the let's go fishing which we're going to use at stamp camp this weekend um to make our Father's Day card. And this Les, Les Chopes. I don't know how to say that. And this Masterfully Made 12x12. And the Stargazing 12x12. And the Zoo Crew 12x12. And that's it. Which is a lot of papers on sale, okay? So, if you find something that you must, must have, let me know. And I will add it to the order today. Um, with the in club of club. Okay? So... I'm probably putting that over in tomorrow, let's be honest. And then um, that's it. Okay. So thanks for joining me today. I really wanted to remind you guys about the In Color Club and show you a card we're going to be making. I might change it up a little. I don't know. But I really like it. I do, I do. And it's pretty simple. Each of these is just a quarter, quarter inch, quarter inch, quarter inch for the layers. All right. Okay. Um, hopefully this worked today. I'll see you later. Bye.